Yo, what's good, YouTube? I know it's been a long time coming for this video. Man, I just, whoo, life has been been moving fast. I've been trying to, you know, I've been adjusting, I've been adjusting, but now I got, you know, I feel like I got everything under control. I got everything under control, so. Made some time out today, it's a beautiful Sunday, you know. Enjoy church, dress nice, you know, you look good, you feel good, you know. I'm a Jesus piece on, you know. Gotta stay protected. All that good stuff. But yeah. So the summary, well the, the main thing about this video is gonna be a blessing in disguise. Woo! A blessing in disguise. Cause man, what I went through last year, and you all know I started my freshman semester of uh, college, so you know that, that taught me some stuff. So boom, I'm, I'm gonna get straight to it. I know I know y'all wanna just sit here. And hear me remin go back and forth. Y'all wanna, y'all wanna hear what's going on with Big Ryan. Big Ryan been making moves too, you feel me? But hey, we about to get to it. So yeah, freshman year of college, Lord. Lord, 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 help me. You know, just thinking about it right now, I just, whew. I'm, I'm thankful, he, he helped me get through it. So I can't, I can't, I gotta give him, the, I gotta give him the glory. Thank you, God. So yeah, my first semester, it was rough. I'm not a math guy, so I struggle with math. Ended up having to retake it, you know, my second semester. During that second semester, I ended up finding me a girlfriend. A girl, yeah, your boy out here macking. Return of the Mac and Cheeto. You feel me? I was out there macking. I was looking for me a little, a little, a little nice, you know. I see I go get her, you feel me? You know me, y'all know. But yeah, I had to find me a little girlfriend. Everything was good, you know. Beautiful, you know. High, good, you know, she was the first female I feel like I like to actually relate to, you feel me, other than just, you know, I'm, I'm gonna keep it G, other than just sex, you feel me, because, you know, <laughs> you know how it is, <laughs> but yeah, so, you know, we was vibing, everything was good, but, except what it was, it was just, it just wasn't meant to be, that's how I'm gonna put it, guy, guy got away us working, you know, what he wanna do, so, it just wasn't meant. So during that breakup, I just took some time out to focus on me because I learned the best the best thing you can invest in is to yourself. Self-love, self-care, all that good stuff, you feel me? You, can't, you can never go wrong with putting time into you because at the end of the day, your purpose and your future depends on you. So I just got real serious about my, my purpose. So let me tell you, I, uh, I was just in my dorm one day Watching 360 G's, cause you know you boy, I'm, I'm with the wave gang. Y'all, y'all been through this, your boy. Spinning, 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 squad, squad. You know, yeah, swim team all day. But yeah, so you see the watching his videos, him cutting hair, and you know, I'm going to school for business. I, I'm going to school for business. I'm very entrepreneurial. I want to, you know, be my own boss. That was the whole thing. So during that time, during the break, I was just sitting there thinking like, you know, what can I do to get to where I want to go and achieve my goals of being my own boss and an entrepreneur? So sitting there watching Jesus, you know, he's a YouTuber. He, he got his own shop out there in California. And every time I watch this dude, the energy is so, so high. Like, it look, he, well, you can see that he loves his job. So I'm like, okay, you know, I'm, I love brushing my hair. You know, I'm, I'm into the waves and I found, I saw that you can, you know, with barber, you can set your own prices, come in at your own time. You can pick your own clients. If you don't like somebody, you kick them to the curb. You feel me? If you, you like this kind, you know, you keep coming back. They'll keep coming back to you. The vibe gonna be good. You're gonna enjoy your job. And cutting hair, I realize it, you know, isn't, once you're doing it, you don't feel like a job. You feel like you're just enjoying what you do. And so boom. So one day I just went out and invested into myself. I bought some clippers. You know, I went in love with watching the uh, self-cut tutorial videos and practicing on myself. Ended up getting uh, one of my roommates to let me cut his head. And you know, I was just okay. I felt happy, I felt good about that. So boom, there it was. I'm like, you know, I talked to God about it. You know, I'm like, cause I was praying to find my purpose cause I feel like that's the moral goal of life. To give back and to spread the love. Talked to God about it, you know, I just ended up manifesting the things that I wanted after that all everything fell into place because one day at church I ended up talking to uh Tia Bridge she, she's my cousin 
Uh, and I go to Jerusalem Baptist Church out of Calhoun. I told her, like, you know, we have conversations. She was like, how school is we going on? I told her I've been cutting hair. She was like, okay, I got a cousin named Corey Brittany. You know, our cousin Corey. So, yeah, she was like, I'll talk to him, see if I can help you out. So, God ended up, you know, making a way for me to end up cutting in the shop uh, in downtown West Monroe on Antique Alley called Room Holes, you know, just through connections, you know, Corey or put the word in for me to get up there to get an apprenticeship. I was blessed with that and I'm grateful for it. So yeah, so big shout out to God and you know Core and Tia for helping me get close to my purpose and you know what I feel feel great at doing, you know. So yeah. And <laughs> uh, that's just that's what's been up man. School. I'm just trying to, you know, build myself as a man, you know set a foundation so you know I can have some for my family in the future you know because I plan on being great I hold myself to a high standard I know what I'm capable of How you doing? <laughs> but yeah I know what I'm capable of and I just hold myself to I hold, I gotta start holding myself accountable because I just turned 20 this month June 4th your boy just turned 20 I don't even, I don't even feel like it I don't even, man I'm 20 you know I just sit and think like man but hey, that's just every day I wake up, it's a new opportunity to go and get it. And that's what I want to tell y'all. Whatever you want to do in life, you can do it. I don't care. I don't care if Sally Mae, Jim Bob, Tilly Moo, Uncle Tilly Moo, Paul and them telling you, nah, I don't do this, bro. No, bro. If you feel like it's in your heart and your desire for you to go after that, what you want to do, you know, man, do it. Do it to the fullest. Do it to the but they think you crazy. Like, man, this dude out here really doing it. Cause eventually it, it's gonna get done. I feel like nobody can stop you but you. Cause I mean, if you set your heart and mind onto it and you keep God first, that's the main thing. Keep God first and anything can get done. Nobody can stop you but you. Cause I mean, if you set your heart and mind onto it and you keep God first, that's the main thing. Keep God first and anything can get done. So yeah. So I just, I wanna put that on y'all hearts today, you know. If anything been on your mind or you feel like going after something, go for it, man. I'm all, if you need, you know, some support, I'm always supporting somebody. Because I know how, I know what it feel like to, you know, want to chase a dream to go after. So go after it, because at the end of the day, it's your life. Think about it, it's your life. You have to make those decisions at the end of the day that you going to have to be happy. Ah, that you going to have to be happy with. <laughs> yeah, so it's all on you, man. So, yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's it, man. Love y'all. Peace, love, and happiness. All that good stuff, man. Don't forget to subscribe. Give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed the conversation that we had. You know, I'm going to continue to drop some more videos for you guys, you know. And my schedule is a little bit more flexible now. So, yeah, ain't no excuses. The only person stop me is me. So, I just got to, you know, commit to it. Because I love, you know, like... I don't, I don't know who really watch my videos, but the people that do and whoever get touched by, you know, I, I feel great by doing that because I feel like we all need somebody. If I could be that inspiration in your life, then man, you know, it's bump to you and me too, you know. <laughs> but yeah, peace.